For today's lesson, you will need a pencil and a sheet of paper. In this book, the celebration of Dia de los Muertos is approaching. Maria and her family prepare to celebrate loved ones who have passed away, including one very special family member. Dia for Maria is an entertaining story that will provide you with insight into this Mexican holiday. Do you know about the Dia de los Muertos holiday and traditions? Before we begin, let's go over some sight words. Here are several words that you will see frequently throughout this book. They are day, gave, and old. We will say each word three times. My turn, day, your turn. My turn, day, say it. My turn, day, your turn. My turn, gave, say it. My turn, gave, your turn. My turn, gave, say it. My turn, old, your turn. My turn, old, say it. My turn, old, one last time. We also have some new vocabulary words in the book, Dia for Maria. We are going to practice chunking the sounds, blending them together, and saying it faster and faster to put together the whole word. I will do some with you after that. You will complete the rest on your own. In this book, there are some new and tricky words. We know we can read through these tricky words by looking for chunks we know, saying each sound slowly, saying the sounds faster and faster, then reading through the whole word and thinking, does that make sense? Let's try an example. The first chunk I see in this word is all, all. The next chunk I see is er, er. I know the middle letter T makes the T sound. I am going to put these chunks together. All, T, er. All, T, er. Let's say that faster. Alter, alter. Alter is a word that you will be seeing in this book. Pause the video to sound out these words on your own. Now it's time to read the book. While you are reading, I want you to think about the question, how do the characters celebrate their loved ones. Now, pause the video and resume when you have finished reading the text. That was a special book that told about the holiday, Dia de los Muertos through fictional and fun characters. It's time to go over some comprehension questions. Remember, when we go over comprehension questions, we will be mining for evidence. When we mine for evidence, we find the information in the book. We turn to the correct page number so we know where in the story the information is. We have to remember book, page number, and where. What details from the story show that Day of the Dead is a happy holiday? Why is it important to Maria and her family 
to celebrate those who have passed. Why does Maria feel close with Tia Teresa even though they have never met? What causes Maria to want to celebrate Ratonia? We are going to end today's lesson with some spelling. I have three spelling words for you. We are going to say each word three times, then we will tap it out, and finally, you will need your pencil and paper to write them down. Our first word is the word cherry. Cherry. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Cherry. Scholars, let's tap out the sounds we hear in the word cherry. Get your tapping fingers ready. We're ready. Cherry. Ch. Air. E. Ch. Air. E. Cherry. Now we are going to spell the word cherry together. Cherry. Ch. Ch. I think cherry starts with the C H sound. Ch air e. I know that word. Air is a sight word. Ch air e. E. E can sometimes say its name. I think this word ends in e. Ch air e. Does that look right? I don't think so. Let's try it again. Cherry, ch. I know that the CH blend says ch. Cherry must start with CH. Ch, air, e, eh, eh. Which vowel makes the eh sound? If you said e, that's correct. Ch, air, er, er. Which letter makes the er sound? If you said R, you're on the right track. Ch, air, e, e. I think that the E says its name on the end of this word. Ch, air, e. Does that look right? I don't think so. Let's try it one last time. I know that cherry starts with C-H. There's also the eh sound in cherry, which I know is the vowel e, ch, air, re. It ends with the sound re. I know r makes the er sound. Cherry, e. That r sound is carried, and y will sometimes make the e sound in words. Cherry. Ch, air, e. Remember, y can sometimes be a vowel. Our next word is the word noise. Noise. Say it. Your turn. One more time. Noise. Let's tap out the sounds we hear in the word noise. N. Oys, n, oys, noise. Scholars, pause the video and use your paper and pencil to write the word noise. Our last word is the word short. Short. Say it. Your turn. One last time short. This time, I want you to say the sounds that you hear in the word short. I will tap with you, but you have to say the sounds.
pause the video and use your paper and pencil to write the word short. Scholars, thank you so much for reading with me. I hope it helped you grow your brain. I love reading with you. I'll see you next time.